Well, how do there, people in the viewerverse? Hello, welcome, Jums. Yes, I've got some news for you. It's not official Hello Games news. It's not official No Man's Sky news per se. It's what's been found inside the game files over on Experimental. So let's hit this up. Let me show you what's been found. We'll jump on over to the Twitterverse. Heck yes, we will. Boom, pow, And we're in, people. So I'm over with the Procedural Traveler. Procedural Traveler is the place I go for all my news. So let's just add procedural trv now if i scroll on down on here on procedural travelers feed yes we've got this experimental branch 1910 and one of them is a fixed a number of network issues so hopefully that's going to improve the multiplayer sort of hang-ups and issues that we've been having when trying to run our weekend missions and stuff you hit up my last friday for example freaking insanely difficult to get four players in we ended up rolling with just two of us and then i dropped out of group freaking great was, you know pain in the neck so hopefully some of that's been fixed people in the viewer verse we can only but hope my little robot's going freaking mental over there. <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering what that little robot is, it's actually called Elik. E I L I K. He's pretty darn freaking cool. Something else to point out with the Procedural Traveler. The Procedural Traveler is actually doing these awesome sort of news roundups, and he does them sort of weekly. And in here is all sort of news from the community. So I'd strongly suggest hitting it up and having a quick look see. Because look, if I jump into week three, there's all sorts here. It's great. There's videos as well, pretty darn freaking nice. Look at that artwork. Loads of stuff from the actual community here. Some of your own stuff might feature here. So yeah, go check him out because it's awesome, even if it's just for inspiration to see what's going on inside of the verse. But yeah, fantastic stuff and awesome work there, the Procedural Traveler. Very like, very much into your little community roundups and very cool. Right, so scrolling on down, we've got this from that bomber boy and inside of here he's inside of the actual experimental game files he's come across these these fantastic looking capes i mean how beautiful are those now this one here i think is for the giant space worms and it's got this sort of like i don't know spinal column going down the back of it which is pretty darn freaking gnarly and i guess that's sort of the face with the teeth there isn't it pretty darn freaking epic anyway i like that cape i like it a lot so i think that one's to do with the worm and that next over here this one looks like it's a space leviathan like our frigates that we've got and it's got all these tears to the lower area of the cape but this is interesting it looks like it's got a ship inside of the living frigate now when you fly to the mouth end of your ships people it does look like we might be able to fly in there their mouths are strangely the same size of ships just putting it out there as a bit of a thought a bit of speculation maybe we might be able to go inside of our frigates one day who knows and we've got this one here that looks like the large jellyfish the child of helios and i'm loving all these cutouts in the back of this cape so you can see through it when it comes to seeing capes though we still can't see him in bloody multiplayer can we you know if you're running around wearing this one and i've got a different one on it's like look at my cape what does mine say sweet what does mine say dude <laughs> no you can't see fudging nothing not at the moment hopefully they fix that now i reached out to kurt the maker of the no man's sky assistant app and i said kurt mate are these to do with the new expedition or what what are you seeing inside the game files and here's the captain steve there's no expedition stuff in there. What we're seeing expedition-wise is just a copy of a previous expedition. They've just relabeled it to Season 9 as a placeholder, and in there is a couple of like little uh, images, icons for the Atlas Pass. That's it. But yeah, he reckons that these are going to be Quicksilver items. There's also this helmet that you can see this traveller wearing right now inside of these screenshots, and he's actually got that helmet on. So Bomber Boy has unlocked these inside of the experimental branch. This is not on any of the consoles as yet, and it's like these experimental notes that I've been reading out. They're only on the experimental branch. We're waiting for these to come over into the other consoles and other platforms. It's like this one here, 1810. There must be about three of these stacked now. And look how many freaking patches are inside of here. Now there's one to give you sort of boosted slots or super slots. 
which I've done videos on. I put a link in the top right hand corner to my coverage of those. But there's also now the ability, rather than having to scroll on your inventory, over on the left hand side you've got two filters to expand either your technology area or to expand your cargo space. So you can see it in one hit so you don't have to sort of do the scrolling, which is fantastically awesome. I very much welcome that change. So they are definitely listening. I've done a gripes video of all the things that's inside of Waypoint that were kind of disjointed. One of them being that they had nerfed all the sort of the min maxes and you can no longer push tech. Well, the supercharged slots now fix that sort of issue and that sort of complaint. And then it was the whole thing about scrolling. Well, they fixed that too. You know, they are definitely listening. So yes, I've done a review of the waypoint tra um, the waypoint drop, and you can take a watch of that. But yes, procedural travelers got all sorts going on here. This is 1510. So from 1510 to 1810 are the patches that we're still waiting for. And this is the one that mentions about them getting that sort of substantial boost through the supercharging of slots. So there we go. That's the news from over on the Twitterverse that I've found. Now I hit on up, like I say, in the assistant no man's sky, Kurt, and said to him, what are these freaking capes? Are they are they all for season nine or whatever? Yes, and he came back. He said no, no. Th this is what it says inside the game files. So going from the first one that I showed you, the Titan Worm Cape, an exclusive exosuit appearance override. The Worm Lord towers above the dusty earth. Its flesh becomes the sky. Now apparently, Kurt says that that one's the first one in the lineup to be unlocking with inside of the community missions and items. And uh, yeah, so there's that one. The next one it says Cosmic Megafauna cape an exclusive exosuit appearance override in the furthest reaches of space swim the cosmic megafauna aligning their paths with travelers dreaming of possible realities that one would be for that uh, you know the, the frigatey type one that i was talking about the one that looks like it's got a ship inside of it tentacle cape an exclusive exosuit appearance override flow across the galaxy with this cape lattice of fluttering tentacles woven from regenerated cellulose fibers so that one there is the one that looked like the child of helios now if you're wondering what the no man's sky assistant app is it's an app that you can get for your mobile devices people in the viewerverse let me make this a bit bigger so you can see what i'm holding up here so that's my mobile phone and there's the icon in the middle up there boom and i pressed it yes and down at the bottom here is the community missions as they're called inside the game so here, we, here let's hit up that boom and you can see there that we've got the ribbon grass at the moment under the underway and it shows you the progress bar and everything kurt's a clever chappy and there we go departure posters they were the previous ones i think if i hit next over here there's a ribbon grass at the moment it doesn't show the capes because i guess this hasn't been updated as yet but it will be and then you'll be able to see the capes in there you'll be able to read all that flavor text yourselves out there in the viewer verse you can get that app on android and on ios i put links in the video description so you can hit that up but thank you very much kurt for giving me all the information i needed to sort of press on with this but no there's not enough information as yet there out there in the verse people for us to do another 1616 podcast when it comes to speculation though people out there in a view of us do i think we're going to get a halloween expedition now well being that these capes are inside the game files and also that helmet but um at the same time they're not being much else inside the game files apart from those sort of atlas passes that i mentioned earlier i'm really not too sure i'll see if i can find the actual game file and yeah hold on one second let me see if i can bring that up on the screen for you so if i go to reactions so yes kurt also sent me a dump from his like google drive where he shows me all these sort of bits and bobs that he's found so if i go inside of expedition because there is an expedition folder the only thing is it's just a copy and paste of a previous expedition and inside of that folder you can see here that it's just like got five different Atlas passes. Interesting enough, it's Atlas Pass 1, 2, and 3, which we, we all know about. But then there's four and five! Four and five people out there in the verse. I'm wondering whether these are just going to be placeholders for rendezvous points or something. But yes, it's it's an oddity. But there's also inside of Quicksilver, when you go inside of Quicksilver, you've got all these Twitch drops, but then you've got this lovely sort of special helmet, which we actually saw in the appearance modifier. So I'm thinking that might drop inside of Quicksilver too it's not an expedition reward funny enough and there's all the other twitch items there's that helmet again so that's everything i know inside of the verse peeps and that's everything that's been sent to me 
So going by the game files, I don't know whether we're going to get another expedition and whether that'd be a Halloween-y type one at the same time as I'm also dropping in some awesome Quicksilver items. But I am excited for those Quicksilver items. I just hope that we get to see each other's capes inside of the Nexus. What's the bloody point in sporting them, you know, or unlocking them even? And at the moment, when I put my cape on and running around in the Nexus, I tend to lose a couple of frames to the point that it makes me feel slightly nauseous. So I'm not wearing my capes at the moment, people. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know about you guys, but that's that's kind of where I am with this. But I am really liking the fact that they've listened to the community and they've changed so much inside of the actual game files. Um, it's like the scrolling, they've negated, you know, they've added in a little improvement for that. The God mode, they actually show you whether you've locked yourself out of God mode now, which is great as well. It encourages people to do so, I guess. Um, and what else was there? Yeah, the the whole thing with the tech slots, the supercharged tech slots. So Hello Games has definitely listened. They were the three things that were given the poor reviews over on the actual Steam sort of area. Once these batches go out, these patches from over on Experimental and updates, I'm hoping to do a re-review and I'll be looking at the Steam sort of reviews to see if they've improved with these new updates that go out. I'll probably wait a good like you know week or so for people to use the supercharged slots and see what they think before I do an actual review of my own but there we go peeps that's everything for you and i hope you enjoyed the news and take care for now goodbye goodbye and goodbye again people